by your local here in Athens, Eddie Pruitt Ford, been advertising me a lifetime. Greatest folks you'll ever meet, and by another buddy of mine, Brad Stovall, Auto Body and Glass, right down the road in Tanner, Alabama. Now here he is, the Mustang Man, the Mustang Man. Just moved in I'm, his new house. I'm grinning from here to here. Got ear. that garage <laughs> finished? Almost. Uh, just and those pretty garage. My garage. I got that Ford blue stripe around the middle. I'm excited about that. Um, <laughs> tired, but but here. But you know, the motivation is these car shows that are coming up now. But this is the time of year. Is April one of the busiest times of the year? Or April, probably May. When Excellent. is the one coming up at Lindsay Lane? That is uh, next weekend, April the 18th. Uh, the benefit car show for Eli Williams. Will he be there? No, actually he's not. Uh, he the family's be. asking for prayers. Uh, he's oh, been accepted man. into one of the treatment studies that he's doing. Uh, so he's going to have some, uh, some brain surgery. Uh, oh. Don't know all the details on it, but... Uh, he he won't, he'll be recovering uh, that day. So, uh, but his mom Christy was hoping to be there. But that'll be a good show. So make sure you make plans to come out next weekend to Lindsay Lane um, for that one. But we've got uh, about four car shows: two locally, uh, and then two a little bit farther off. The uh, Eckenrod Ford uh, is a great show down in Coleman. Now that's an all Ford show, so you'll see Mustangs, Galaxies, T-Birds, Ford trucks at that one. Um, and then this is also a huge one, Asbury United Methodist Church on Hughes Road in Madison. I think, I don't know how many years they've been doing this one, James. It's a big church. It is. It used to be just right down the road. Old Cross Point used to be exactly. near on the other side of the road. So those are uh, really, they really know how to put on a good car show, so make sure you hit that one. And then for our viewers that are a little farther out, there's one in Green Hill, Alabama. It's the fifth annual Rogers High School. Uh, and then I think there's one in Anniston, uh, first annual. Sachs. Um, that's a long way. That, that's a little Green Hill's a lot away. closer. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Hey, we played a basketball game over at Rogers High School once. Back we used to do benefits. Uh -huh. We had 1,500. They let school out, you know, charge like a quarter or a dollar or whatever. I think it was a dollar. And it was, we still have video of that. It was packed. We had our buddy lot. Keith, the Swami in his tub, coaching us. And He'd act like he'd get mad and rip that yeah, tub off. We had 1,500 people there that day. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. We're too old now, but they we used to do it. Yeah, days. we used to do it. That's <laughs> funny. But yeah, uh, just a lot coming up every week. I'll, I'll have the list. I mean, pretty much from this weekend <laughs> on, there'll be at least two or three in our area every Saturday. We don't have the picture we took Saturday morning. You know, it's. Uh, I'm filling up sitting to photograph, and this guy wheels in in front of him this slicked up Mustang. Oh, yeah. Why? He's a Marine. Right? I get out and talk to him, and he said, I get my picture. I said, yeah, we bought the new one, this, this, and then. I said, you know I'm a TV legend or something, kid. <laughs> he said, oh, that must be the station Joseph's. I said, oh, you know, <laughs> Joseph's our president. I said, oh, okay, let me get a picture. That's well, then great. I went over, we pulled it through Publix. They were about 10, and I gave them all a bunch of shirts. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I want to give a shout-out to Angela Hood this morning in the hospital over in Decatur, Alabama. If you're watching this oh. morning, she's from over Moulton, a big fan of ours over that way. So. Get well, Angela. What else you got, Joseph? Well, uh, I'm lining up some cars. I'm just trying to, trying to finalize who I've got. Wayne, Wayne White, our Sunday school teacher at Lindsay Lane. We invite y'all to join us down there. If you're looking for a church home, we'd love to have y'all at Lindsay Lane. I also want to tell you, All Star Plumbers, you said just signs. got set up on a Facebook they page. They did. So uh, I, I got an invite to All Star Plumbers. They started a Facebook page now. So Chuck. That's right, Chuck. Chuck. I don't know if Chuck set the page I doubt Chuck, Chuck did it. But. i tell you what, they do excellent work. Yes, they, they do. do. They were in our neighborhood over times. there yesterday uh, laying the, you know, you ever watch them do that before they pour the foundation when they lay all the I pipes underneath. No, it's pretty neat. Things yeah. I want to go with you. Well, but, uh, but it is neat. It is. It's kind of neat. It better be laid out right. Hey, exactly. I tell you what, we had a house in Florence that had a uh, foundation. Foundation, and we had a busted pipe. Yeah. How'd that go? It's Not too good. Too good. To yeah. the floor. Stop oh, it. Go through the wall and put in these, but Chuck and them are no. awesome. I mean, See, they, they don't do that. They don't have to bust up. Absolutely incredible. Now, in just a minute, we're going to go throwback Thursday, and I'm going to go back to the 70s. Y'all, first, uh -oh. I ran across this. I'm going to steal out of Dear Abby for Dear Jamie this morning. I want to get you guys' opinion on it. Okay. Here's the way this works. Well, that's all <laughs> Dear Jamie, I'm a female working full time in an office with all men. Yes, 
Wednesday afternoon, I ate a salad that contained several varieties of beans. Uh oh. I was standing outside my boss's office, mm. laughing at a joke one of the salesmen was telling, when the beans sort of kind of got the best of me, and oh I passed gas. You know, other men would say, farted. <laughs> Broke the wind. Brad whatever. Cut, not start whatever. Cut the please. cheese. Whatever you want to saw. I was mortified, Jamie, and wanted to sink so. through the floor. I patted the salesman on the arm and said, I guess that's what I think of the joke. <laughs> Went back into the office. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. She covered that. Today, one. the next day, I cannot look any of them in the frustrated. <laughs> Have been Since this Don't seems to be about. something that happened to older people, I'm 69. As sometimes we have often don't have total control over, please tell me how to recover. <laughs> Dear Pooter. I'll make that part of it. Oh, Stop beating That's yourself good. up over it. Expelling gas is normal. She'll According to the National Institute of Health. Here's a question for y'all. Right. How many times does the average person pass gas? 36 times a day. Had to be a, Abby, give me a wrong. Oh. Maddie, get over and give me a wrong. <laughs> I mean, you mean people 36 times Bob, a day. you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I saw this somewhere. I if it happens bunch. again, I'm gonna go back to this. Say, excuse me, and if it's a two, oh is goodness. a smelling one, distance yourself and blame it on somebody else. Yeah. That's what I'd say. You see, oh <laughs> this is the average passage of gas a day on the average person is 14 times. Wow. I thought it was more than that. Maddie, do you know how to say <laughs> cut the cheese? Yes, and quit teaching her that. I've taught Maddie some very important things. No, they're all been, the, they've all been bad. Cut the cheese, snot rockets. <laughs> I know. I'm Something every little girl it. needs to know that. So take a whiz. Yeah, yeah. Take a whiz. Now, you know, somebody asked you today, how many no times does the average person... Pass the gas, you know the answer is 14. 14 now. Now. <laughs> no, I, I had seen this somewhere else and I you thought it was 30 something no, 36 <laughs> is what I thought. Maybe Where that are you was eating? I, it's not me, I it's a herd. <laughs> sure. read it somewhere. Yeah. I thought, well, I better not incriminate myself. <laughs> but I, mean, I think I'm above time, average. It's if just, it happens to me, I'm blaming it on somebody else. <laughs> What, what do you do now if it stinks? Yes. You try to distance yourself. <laughs> and I, I threw that part in. I'm, blam I'm blaming it myself on, this, on oh somebody else. Woo! Is that, is that Dang, Abby, can you have control yourself in here this morning? No, you say that and you look at them walk off. Do herbs and more have something to alleviate the yes. passage of gas? I'm sure. Gas eggs or Beano. There's Bino. some problems out there. Yeah, Brad. Oh, <laughs> hey, coming up tomorrow before I go to this country road story, I want oh y'all to goodness. see uh, Sassafras Tea Celebration is going to be Saturday, April 11th from 10 to noon at uh, the Oakmont Historical Committee in Limestone County Park. Richard Martin will be with us tomorrow and Dickie Hobbs right. making his first live appearance. He's been on tape before. Yeah, I don't think I know him. Have you got a beeper? He will after tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> He's Historical plaque good. dedication will be at 10 o'clock. Popcorn Coke, you know, up in, they have that thing every Saturday now. That's where they need to do a car show down there on Elkmont because they got that Saturday market going on. Oh, really? Isn't right. Dickie Hobbs where we do that? Sunflowers? It's sunflower and Photos. cotton picking. Okay. Every oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that it's picture. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Today, you know, everybody does this throwback deal. Well, thanks to my illustrious engineer, Rex Free. Thank you, Rex. Thank you, Rex. We found some old tape. He's come up with about I don't know, 20 or 30 country road stories I didn't even know we still had. Awesome. This Funny. story here is from Big Coon Creek, Jackson County. Over there. Yeah. You ever know where it is? My old stomp, stomping grounds. You ever heard of Big Coon? I don't no. think these were your stomping well, grounds. These may be your relatives. No, they're not. No. If your mom and daddy's watching, this could we're be sorry. their relatives. No. <laughs> I saw this was in the late 70s. That's I go scary. out there. I this looked that. like, if there was ever a place that looked like deliverance. <laughs> Glad I wasn't there. I show up and I say, hey, I'm for television. He said, I don't want to buy no television. Well, first of all, he couldn't got a signal where he was anyway. <laughs> he was out so there. So fine, I'm by myself. I want y'all to see this. They had just gotten a bridge. They had a swinging bridge they walked across or drove through the creek when the water wasn't up too high. It's in mm -hmm. North Jackson County. Okay. Oh, towards Stevenson. It's out I there. I want to share this throwback no, 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 no. Thursday country rover story with you. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Oh. Would you like to go down home? <laughs>
Getting to our mailbox is something we take for granted. All of us except 77-year-old Lonnie Wilkerson. Getting to his mailbox at times has been a major task. <coughs> Wilkerson and his two sons are the only full-time residents of Matthews Cove, foot of Crow Mountain in Jackson County, a place that's not all that easy to find. Lonnie Wilkerson moved his family here on a 200-acre farm in 1957, 13 years before electricity arrived here and 24 years before the just-completed bridge across Big Coon Creek. Electricity Wilkerson could live without. Crossing Big Coon without the new bridge, Wilkerson was tired of. You couldn't go through. You had to stay out. You ever got to where you had to stay in here? Yes, sir. Several times every winter. Stay in here about two or three weeks before you can even get out of here. If I hadn't got that bridge, I would have moved them out of here. For as long as anyone can remember, the only way to cross Big Coon was to drive through it or walk over it. And walking over it can take a brave soul. James Workerson has plotted his way across the rickety old bridge more times than he likes to think about. I walked there several times. Just watch the planks in front of me and don't watch the water. If you do, you'll fall off there. It. So it's kind of dangerous. Yeah. Looks like the bridge going down the creek where you are going up the creek. Electricity and the bridge are about the only things that have changed the way of living in Matthews Cove. So there hasn't been a whole lot of progress in, in this neck of the woods. Bonnie Wilkerson doesn't mind. He's just happy knowing that this old swinging bridge is now a thing of the past. On Big Coon Creek, I'm your country rover, Jamie Cooper.